Brent versus Zeb. At this point, you want to get a little confirmation from the family. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'm really happy to hear that you as a couple have made a commitment to each other and have made a decision as a family to vacation seven to 10 days per year. Is that correct? Yes. You see, that's what's going to make this really easy for you today. You've already made the decision. So there is none to be made here today. But you are going to be given a choice. And the choice is one of two plans. First, your plan. And on your plan, it involves hotels where the hoteliers are the landlord and you are the tenant. For them, it's a real estate transaction. Yet, you stay at approximately 350 square feet, plus or minus 20%. Usually get one bed or two beds, a TV, a bathroom, a table, and a desk. Sound about right? Yes. Now, you don't see it as a real estate transaction because you're on vacation. But the hotelier, being the landlord, has an investment to make. And obviously, he wants to recoup his investment as quickly as possible from the tenant, that being you. So his investment involves a real estate investment, which is the land cost. On that land, he has to pay maintenance and taxes. He's also going to have management fees. And he does, it, does this with one purpose, one objective, which is profits. Now, what the hoteliers do is they take this budget, they divide it by how many hotel rooms they have worldwide, divide it by 365 days a year, and that's how they come up with a nightly rate. And you said your nightly rate is an average of what? $150 a night? Now keep in mind, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, in this $150 a night rate, you are paying the landlord's uh, land cost. You are paying his maintenance and taxes. You are paying his management fees. And if you do this 10 days a year, that is $1,500 per year. You do that 20 times and you have spent $30,000, not counting inflation. This money, gone. Now, one other thing is, if you go into uh, just a standard hotel room, you walk in, you say, it's okay. But if, if you go into a high-end hotel like a Westin or a, a Ritz Carlton, you walk in and you go, Wow, impressive. But do you realize it's still the same 350 square feet? The space is the space. What hoteliers bring to the table, or what they try to bring to the table, is consistency in their product. Comfort, luxury, cleanliness, and service. And they try to expand to have more hotel rooms each and every year. This is what hoteliers bring to the table. Now, what do you bring to the table? So, what do you bring to the table? The fruit of your labor, which is work. And you go to work, you make money. With that money, you budget. Housing, transportation, children's college fund, household utilities and expenses, savings and investments. And then we always hope that there's a little left over, which is called disposable income. And what do we usually do with that as a family? We go on vacation. And when we go on vacation, we spend it. And when it's all over, what happens? We do it all over again, year after year. This machine keeps spinning and spinning, and it spits out two products. Number one, receipts. Number two, memories.
receipts that are worthless, memories that are priceless. Now, as we get a little older, this machine starts spinning out of control. I ask you, does this plan look like the Smith family plan that you're doing right now? It does, and it works. It's taking you to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, like you told me. It's taking you to California. It's brought you to Florida. Great. Now, with your permission, I would like to show you my plan. And on my plan, it involves X Resort. Please fill in your resort name there. Where you are the landlord, no longer the tenant. But as the landlord, obviously, you have to make an investment too. So what we do is we take some of the money you're already spending on your plan, redirect it into a growing asset that is conveyed to you in the form of a deed and title. And this deed and title comes with a bundle of rights. In particular, three. You're going to use it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You can will it to your children. And if they don't behave, you can sell it. Now at this point, I have to stop and say, I can't get into individual products. So I'm going to show you just a traditional timeshare uh, uh, pitch, but you at this point have to adjust to whatever product you're selling, whether it's points based, whether it's a floating week, whether it's a fixed week, whatever it may be. So I'm going to use a fixed week, a fixed week example. So, with this deed, what we do is we take a home, a townhouse, a condo, a villa, um, a chalet, whatever it may be, and we divide it fractionally. And then you're going to purchase just the number of days you're currently vacationing, which you told me is 10 to 15. So we'll say two weeks. Those two weeks, that's where this deed and title comes in where you can sell it, rent it, obviously you're gonna use it, you can gift it to your friends and family, and yes, someday, will it to your children. But the best part about this program is the fact that you can actually put wheels and wings on this home and take it anywhere in the world. And that's done through an exchange process. Through our exchange partners, you can basically, your home resort is here, you could travel all over the world. And every time you check in, you pay zero. Every time you check out, you pay zero. Now, as a landlord, obviously, you have to make an investment. You have to make an investment in purchasing the real estate. And this is why I have to have a Florida real estate license. We're talking about real property. You also have maintenance and taxes to pay on that property. You also have management fees. Now, where are your profits? Well, those two weeks that you're purchasing here today, every year, starting in the year 2017, January 2017, and from there, that year on, your profits, we can't give you cash, so we give them to you in the form of a guaranteed dividend. In this case, being one to two weeks, every single year for the rest of your life, for the rest of your children's lives and grandchildren and so on. Now I ask you, doesn't this plan seem a lot better than what you're currently doing now? I'm not surprised to hear you say yes, because over a half a million families with our company have chosen this plan as well.